Bhante, for those of us who live in areas that have never had a Buddhist monastic presence, what is important to know when meeting, greeting, interacting with a bhikkhu or bhikkhuni? Also, what is meant when people say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu? See, easy question. Okay, how to deal with bhikkhus, bhikkhunis? Don't call them bhikkhu. I've had people call me bhikkhu. You can call me what you can call them what you like, but it's like saying monk. Excuse me, monk. Don't don't say that. Um, well, it's just etiquette. It's not not that they'll be necessarily uh, offended, but there's etiquette for you. You don't just as you wouldn't say, "Hey, monk." Don't say, "Hey, bhikkhu." You can call them bante or aya aye aye. You would be the correct, I think which is the female Bade actually Bade would be more proper but they don't seem to use that or they do actually but nowadays they don't but in the in the texts it seems like Bante and Bade uh, Bade was the female but they seem to prefer, the Bikuni seem to prefer Aya uh, or Aye I would say Aya is probably more common so so find out venerable also work um, you know, just like you would call a priest father, right? Even if you're not particularly religious, out of respect and deference, you call a doctor doctor, you call a, a, a priest father, you call a monk venerable or, or, or something like that. You know? Even if you don't respect them, you out of it's a courtesy, it's etiquette. So that's something. Um, don't try to get too close or friendly to them. You know, the reason we've ordained is to get away, is to to be in in solitude, to have the time to ourselves. So, trying to be buddy buddy with a monk and and thinking them as thinking of yourself as as buddies or something like that. If you're not a monk, it's like a um, an ordinary person and a soldier. The soldier has to remain aloof and and has to have some separate some some seclusion. There is a, a difference. I mean, people don't realize that because they they haven't experienced the life. But we have a very strict life with lots of strict lots of rules, and so it can be harmful for the monk, and it can be um, a source of misunderstanding for the layperson. When the monk is, you know, as a result of their interaction, they might break rules, um, and uh, as a result of them refusing to break rules. The layperson might become upset, and it's a cause for misunderstanding. When it seems like the monk is acting uh, a bit standoffish or whatever, it, actually, it's usually just trying to keep the rules, and concerned that that's very difficult to keep the rules with these people so so close to me, so so uh, buddy buddy. Uh. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Men men shouldn't touch bikunis. Uh, women shouldn't touch bikus, right? Uh, and you shouldn't really touch them in general. Touching is not a good thing. We're not that. We're not touchy feely sort of people. The monks, you know, give them some. Give them some space. Give them their own space. Um, don't be afraid of them, and don't be afraid to ask. You know, if you if you don't if you're not sure about something, ask. Is this appropriate? Is this inappropriate? Uh, most bhikkhus and bhikkhunis like to be asked, like to have people ask questions. Not, it's not really a greed thing. It's just they're bursting with with knowledge and and practice and and you know quite willing to answer people's questions. So ask them lots of questions. It's a good thing. It's a good way to just figure if they're a real monk or or a real bhikkhu or bhikkhuni because if they get angry at you, then you, then you know you know what they're like. If they brush you off, if they give you silly answers, if if a monk is very buddy buddy with you, then you should know that that they are not um, really dedicated to their their practice. If they just want to um, tell jokes and so on, this kind of thing, engage in uh, useless you know, useless things. <laughs> What does sadhu? Sadhu means it's good, so uh, it's an appreci it's a, um, ex a, it's a expression of appreciation. When you appreciate something someone has done, when you appreciate something someone has said, or when you appreciate a good deed, this is what we say. We say sadhu. We say it three times. It's just a tradition.